Uh-oh. Where's my dab? All right. I think I got it figured out. All right. Um, video four. Cruising right along. Uh, I want to show you how to use the scale command. It's a, a little bit different, again, than what I remember learning on SolidWorks. But it's it's useful. Uh, and so what I want you to do is open up your donut. The reason I picked the donut is because that's going to be the most fun object to make bigger or smaller. When we scale something, think model car. Think, um, you know, when you buy, purchase a model car, when you look at it, it'll usually tell you, tell you the scale one part, whether that's one foot or one inch, is equal to one eighth of an inch. So you look at, you know, an architectural print, it'll have a scale of one eighth of an inch equals one foot. So if you measure that and you measure one inch on your on your print, then you know you have a foot in, in real time, in real world, All right? Uh, so this could just be a simple uh, adaption to maybe you built a prototype at part scale, kind of like a model car, and the prototype was successful. So you want to go ahead and scale up and get a larger part. So, well, you go in and just figure out that, that factor you need to multiply by your scale to grow it. And you could, you can scale up everything on on shape. So um, probably pretty handy once you get into the three D printing some of these parts and whatnot. But let's go ahead and just dive in. We want a bigger donut. We're hungry. We want it to be three times as big. Go ahead and use your mind's eye and envision what that donut's going to look like. Three times as big. Let's see if it's if your mind's eye is accurate as to what it'll look like. Uh, what you're going to do is have that donut open, pull it open, go ahead and get that open. And you're going to come up here to the option of transform. So uh, it's this button right here, move, rotate, copy, or scale apart. Um, have that selected. Okay, we've got transform one in red here. We've got this blue rectangle and it's asking for entities to transform or copy. We've only got one part in this part studio. It is the actual donut itself. And we are just gonna come down here. Underneath your design tree is a list of the, all the parts you have in your design studio. Select part one, which is that um, donut. Now these features here, you got this drop down underneath that blue rectangle and the selection you want is scale uniformly. Right, that means that it's gonna grow equally in every direction. All right, now scale one means nothing, right? It, it, well, it's just gonna stay at 100%, but we want it at 200%, maybe 300%. Um, let's just go ahead and go to 300%, which would be a multiple of three. So we're just gonna take it times three. Okay. And then you've got one more blue rectangle you have to select something for, and it's a point. So you can just select the origin as your point. And notice how our donut gets three times as big. If you wanted to, you could copy the part and that would give you two parts. Notice down here, we now have the small donut and the large donut. Um, we don't need to do that. Instead, just go ahead and show me that you created a donut that is three times as big as the original donut. Hit check. I will simply check that by coming into sketch one. And, well, I was gonna say, I, I guess I didn't think about this. I'll check it by cl double clicking transform one. For some reason, I think it would alter the sketch, but now that I clicked on it, I see that it didn't alter the sketch, which would make sense because um, if you are drawing things at scale, maybe you want to modify that scale later. So you really don't want your sketch, which has already been fully defined. Remember, we made it black, so it really shouldn't change at all. Should not change. Well, instead, what I'll do is to double check your work, just transform, make sure that you've got three um, and that you, your donut's three times as big. That's the scale command. It's that awkward sign out thing again. And I don't know. I tell you to go eat some donuts, but we, we don't have any. Um, tell you have a good day, but I, don't know. I guess yeah, that works. Good day. I can't I can't say good afternoon or morning. I don't know when you're listening to this. Have a good day. It was this is what I say to all my students at the end of the class. It was great to see you again. Not technically seeing you. It was great to present to you again. Have a nice day.